I don't believe that we should ever have a good money again before we take the thing out of the hands of government. Then we can't take them violently out of the hands. What mechanisms do we have available to even do simple things like tax enforcement? People have no idea that their freedom is built on privacy. This is why our leaders of today are slowly but surely removing the privacy aspect in the world. It is a fact that the government doesn't want you to be free in any manner. This constant threat that comes from the very government that was elected by you, in most cases, is what turns out to be the hurdle against growth. It is a fact that Bitcoin is one of the leaders in the market, and this has been the case for quite a while now. What interests us the most is the sudden change in market trends. Let's have a deeper look at things. Welcome back everyone. Privacy, what is it, and do you believe it is important to you? I see the free world coming to an end and that troubles me. Our privacy is completely disappearing. Humanity will soon consist of an oppressed people with no passion and must work to keep themselves alive. That this world has never seen before. Have you ever looked into the past? What happened to slaves? How slavery was created and perpetuated? Currently many are living in a modern form of slavery that most don't even recognize. But I can tell you it has been around for years and is getting worse every day. Whole continents and people groups are made dependent on the government owned by the corporate elite companies that you and I have worked for just to pay our bills. The so-called tax money that is collected every month and is getting worse every day. Privacy, a term that is often used but seldom understood and most important, neglected. Now there are a lot of cases where people just believe that they are having the best of their lives. What they don't understand, however, is the fact that this independence that they assume they possess is something that is contingent off the intentions of the present government. This is also the reason why global investors are not that happy with how things have been going on in the cryptocurrency market, and hence the regulations. We understood this recently as we found out that the real reason why our investments were not performing the way we thought they will is due to the fact that they have been relying on Bitcoin quite a lot. Now we know that many of you may jump in claiming that we may not have diversified our portfolio, but that's not the case. The point is that compared to the kind of profits that were being made by us in the past, what we were making right now was not really up to the point that will satisfy us. This decline is numbers raised and alarm and hence this research. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are extensively regulated. Look at Luna and current troubles we are seeing on exchanges, blocking withdrawal anytime they want. The reason is quite obvious and has everything to do with the current government in your area. The fact that it is being regulated raises an alarm of the continuance of the important features of cryptocurrencies. By that, we mean the presence of the same level of privacy, transparency in making transactions and so on. So with these issues persisting, we realize that the need was not for a cryptocurrency that can store value for you and grow gradually like Bitcoin, but a cryptocurrency that has the ability to grow while providing you a lot more security and privacy. After a good amount of research, we concluded that the answer to our search was not actually Bitcoin. It was a coin that we commonly recognize as Monero. We are actually living in through the times of slavery. Just that this time, it's all about your information rather than your physical presence. There are organizations feeding on your information, making hefty profits and having the best times they could ever have. At the current rate, and by the way things are being understood by the government, it will only be a matter of time before we see them making even more profits out of our information without our explicit consent. The government started seeking our information and the kind of investments we are making in the cryptocurrencies. They have instructed the intermediaries to prepare reports and be sent to the government for safety reasons. But behind this curtain of safety lies something that in the long term is not at all good for us in terms of the investments we make in cryptocurrency. Taxes. Something that we generally overlook because we assume that there's only very little we can do about it. It is a fact that people do make a lot of payments towards taxes out of their salaries. This is then followed by even more payments in the form of other taxes. There has to be a destination to this money, some purpose to it, and some utilitarian benefit for those who pay for it. Chances are that a lot of it simply ends up in insurance companies. Though a bit bitter, this has turned out to be the truth in most cases. This essentially means that we need to be self-sufficient now. We need to make sure we live and work by ourselves and find our way out on our own. There isn't a lot we will get from companies or the government. A right implementation of the taxes will bring in a lot of benefits for us, which certainly is not being realized by the current politicians elected. We have different kind of scams being introduced by the government, which don't really look like them at all. It is only after years that we realize that there are some serious repercussions of it because of things that we did not take seriously back in time. Many times, it has been the natural events that the government made use of. The latest one was the COVID-19 pandemic. They have been making a very good use of it to achieve their personal agendas. 
Something that yet again must not be tolerated. What we need to do is to become a self-sufficient community and cater to the needs that we have in the most amicable manner possible. Development will follow gradually without any inconsistencies. The best way to learn to do this is to try it out. Try living without a supermarket for a week. Would you be able to do this? This will tell us how dependent we have been on the government and the elite companies. With these issues looming over our heads, it becomes important for us to sustain ourselves in the best possible manner. Would you like to choose your own way of living? Or would you rather be the smart mind and listen carefully to what the Great Reset Agenda tells you for the next couple of years? The choice is yours. Are you in for the challenge? Share your experience in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Bitcoin is out of options now. Too many regulations in it that could make things worse for us when you want to live a free life without controlled spending. How about something else? Monero or any other privacy coins already developed or to be developed. Something they can't really put a stop on and be controlled. The internet is the force of development these days. What we miss right now on the internet is reliable eCash. Launched in 2014 as BitMonero, it's something that has an extensive use case. It is something that could change to make better out of the current system that we have. The thing with Bitcoin is that the addresses and transactions are publicly recorded. So once your address is recognized, all of your transactions are out there in the open. Something worse than even the current banking system. At least a complete stranger had no access to what we were doing with our accounts. Except the government, of course. This is where Monero overtakes Bitcoin. It is truly completely private. No history is disclosed whatsoever, yet more reliable than anything else. Monero generates a random public address that can be linked to different addresses and hence acts in a stealthy manner. It is called the Ring Confident Transaction, otherwise abbreviated as the Ring CT. Sounds fancy, right? Well, it is actually. There are completely random transactions that get mixed with the original pool. This makes it almost impossible for anyone to track what is going with the records. They use something called Peterson Commitment Method, which is basically a cryptographic algorithm that keeps all transactions hidden in private. Thanks to this method, no one except the sender and the receiver. Well, looks like this was not enough for the developers, so they added another feature to it. They call it Covery. This Indian sounding name is based on something that we would call an onion network. It helps hide the location and internet usage from those who could make a benefit out of it. This makes things a lot more reliable, enhances privacy, and keeps you away from the potential threats that the internet generally exposes you to. We do not mean that Bitcoin has poor standards, to be honest. The fact is that it just is not developed as we expect them to be, and in comparison to the others in that field. They seriously need to develop at the earliest possible instance to make that profit out. Samurai Wallet, one of the Bitcoin wallet platforms, does offer stealth addresses. Getting back to e-money, fungibility is one of the key features that we would desire a cryptocurrency to have. One of the greatest disadvantages with Bitcoin is a lack of fungibility. Yet again, Monero overtakes Bitcoin by providing some additional features and higher privacy. With these advantages in the game, one would definitely bid higher on Monero. And this is why the reason we have chosen to take this leap into Monero and get rid of Bitcoin. We are certain this will be a good move to help us reach our goals. What do you think of this? What will be the future of Bitcoin? Will we see a lot more people thinking the same way as we are? Only time may tell. Maybe you can. Let us know in the comments section, hit the like button and also let us know your views on it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.